Minglawang, welcome to MITV special program, Perspectives. For this show, we have invited our special guest of honor, Xia Uijian. Xia Minglawang, thank you very much for joining us in this show. So for today's edition, uh, we are going to discuss about the cost of having no standards. Uh, what is needed for economic growth in Myanmar? Well, you know, it, it, different, if you ask different people, they may answer differently. You know, if you ask about the academics and, you know, uh, the head of uh, World Bank, so all these people, you know, they, they say like political stability. Yeah. And then if you ask about the people who love the country, who want the country to improve more, grow more, get richer more, they will say the law and order and law enforcement. If you ask the anti-government people who wants, you know, and some terrorist groups, they will say democracy. Democracy will, you know, give the economic growth. Yeah, so together with all this, I guess, you know, if you want the law and order, law enforcement, I think that's what is needed. And so in order to enforce the law and the law, enfor law enforcement, you need standards. Without standards, you, there's nothing to enforce. No, well, only when there is a standard, you can say, oh, you're following the standard or not. The, the standard say you cannot throw rubbish. So are you throwing? The standard say you can only charge this price. So are you overcharging? And then you will, you, there's, they leave little room for corruption and under table payments, under table money. Mm -hmm. So that's why we need the standards, detailed standards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the standards correlate directly with the law enforcement. Without standards, there's nothing to enforce. Yeah, so people don't enforce the law because there is no standard. Uh, why? Standards are so important. Yeah, because without standards, you cannot see whether you're doing right or you're doing wrong. Right, because even with, the, with the, our recording this MITV, there are certain standards, certain recording, certain programming standards, certain timing standards. Without the standards, I can come to the program as, as any time that I want. Right, we can, without the standard, I can talk as long as I want. So we need to have certain standards. So standards means there is something to compare, something to judge that, judge me against, whether I'm doing right or I'm doing wrong, where which area I need to improve. Am I staying too long or am I staying too short? Because there's a standard there. Yeah, so there, that's only when there's, a, there's, a, there's an improvement. No standards, no improvement. Right, so, you know, uh, how to improve if, or how to improve or do, do better if we don't even have standards. Right, let's say you go and apply for something, some permit. Or you go and call, you complain to the YCDC because nobody collects rubbish in front of your house. If there is no standards, they can, they can come and, okay, Lanebi, we are coming, right? So we are, but no standards, then they can come tomorrow, they can come next week, they can come next year. That means no standards. Mm -hmm. So do you want to live in a world of no standards or do you want to live in a world with standards? So if there's some rubbish in front of your house and nobody come and collect, you can call the YCDC and they say, okay, we'll come within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. You like that standard? Or you will come within 48 hours. You come within 72 hours. You like that standard? Or we are coming, we'll come someday. You just wait. Which one you like? You prefer. Mm -hmm. Of course, you prefer the standard one, right? With the standard. Rather than you come as and when you like. What's, what, what, what type of standard is that? What type of concept is that? Do you really want to live in a world like that? We don't want. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's what we need. How to improve? Then whenever we stand up, let's say, there's just not talk about rubbish collection. Or the, the, your, your, house, your house has no water. There's no water. There, there's somebody need to come and repair the pipes for your wood, for your, for your yakwe. Yeah, for your wood. There's uh, no water. So they say they're coming. Right? So you want them to come quickly. So if the standard time, the standard time is 24 hours, so there's oh, 48 hours, 48 hours, two days. No, they come within two days. That's fine. That's standard. So only when they standard, they can improve. Uh, can we come earlier than 48 hours? Can we come within one day instead of two days? Then only with the standard, there's an improvement. Without the standards, they don't come. Right? Or you get to bribe them worse. You have to pay them money. You have to bribe them to come early. That is not good for the country, not good for you, not good for the residents. Mm -hmm. 
not good for the citizens. Yeah, that's why we need uh, standards, right? If we don't have standards also, how to compare within each one, right? So you write a report, right? Or your colleague write the report, right? That's the, without the standard time, you can take three days and she can take two days, right? How do you know which one is better? Maybe you're better, maybe she's better, or maybe both of you are no good. Because if the standard is only one day to write a report and you, so she is taking two days, you're taking three days, both of you are no good. So only when there's a standard, you can make a comparison. Comparison within government departments, comparison within the individual, comparison within civil servants. Right, so only then no standard, no comparison, no improvement. No improvement means how do we, how we as a country, how we Myanmar people go up higher, become better, become richer if there's no improvement. Right, because the rest of the country around us, they have improved. So we are left behind. So do you really want that? If you don't want that, then we need to have standards. Mm. Uh, what benefits uh, do we get by heavy standards? With the standards, we can get the best practices. We can look at what standards other countries are having. Right, in other countries, if you go and write to the uh, ministers, right, uh, how, 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 how long do they take to reply? You can look at other countries, right? Yeah, if you complain about your electricity or water, how long do they take to reply? Yeah, so that's the best practice. Other countries, how they are living. So we can achieve the best practice. We can be better than others only if we see the best practices. Otherwise, you know, there's a in Myanmar saying, uh, a frog in a well. You are living, you know, she, I, ne, a frog in a well. So you think that you are very good. But actually, when you compare with the rest, you are so lousy, right? So that's why we become poor. So we don't want to be poor. Yeah, so that, that, that's the first step. The second one is, the, once you have the standard, you can see the pathway to improvement, right? Let's say you write a report. The standard time is only one day. You're taking two days. So you know that you need to improve. So you look over ways. Hey, how can I improve? How can I make write shorter? Right, other people are taking one day. The standard is only one day. I'm taking two days. I'm no good. How can I improve? So you see, you look for a way to improve. Yeah, so that is uh, the beauty of the standards. And with standards, you can engage pe with more people and you have less stress. Why? Because when you understand, let's say the people uh, come and do something at the, uh, at the government department, uh, come and apply for a permit or some application, some registration. The standard processing time is, let's say, two days. So less stress for you, less stress for them. So they don't have to ask, hey, when will I, my registration be ready? You see, two days, it's written down there. Right, so you're less stressed. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to say that, you know. Oh, when well, I'll free, I'll do it. Or oh, when you give me coffee money, I'll do it faster. So what, what, what type of standard is that? So when you put up the standard, it's less stress for you. The people that say, I'm doing I don't have to do it. As long as you're ready within two days, you're okay. Right? So you don't have to talk to them too much. You can talk about other ah, more productive things rather than when is it going to be ready. And then she, that person who applies has to call you again. Right? Mabru, when, when is it ready? So that disturbs you, your work. Right? So it makes you less productive because you have to answer the phone calls. People asking when is it going to be ready. Now, how about permit? How their registration? Right? If you set up the standards, nobody will bother you to ask questions. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing about other standards. And the standards mean you have lesser defects and lesser waste. Right? You have standards, okay, you have to produce in this paper, you write down the standards so you don't waste a lot of things. And with the standards, you have better customer satisfaction. Right? So, you know, so, uh, customer satisfaction. For example, when you pay the meter bills, right, electricity bills, mm -hmm. right, they write down you can pay by check. But actually, you cannot be on check, actually, you know that. Right, so there's the, you write down the standard, but the standard is not there. So people are not happy. Yeah, so, you know, so, so the standards have to be applied also, enforced also. If not, then you write the standard for nothing. So customers become happier when there's standards. Mm -hmm. Right, they say, oh, well, if you, if you go and complain to YCDC, we'll answer your complaints within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Then customers are so happy. Because you know that you'll get called back within 24 hours. Now, whether we can get it repaired or not repaired, another thing. At least we are responsive to our citizens, to our customers, right? Then customers happy. That's, that's where the customer satisfaction comes from, because of 
having standards. Okay, next one is you know when when you have standards, you have better pricing. Why? Because in it, it relates to the products that come into Myanmar. Some of the products that are from foreign countries, neighboring countries come to Myanmar, they are not the same standards as what is being sold in other countries. So because if we don't enforce the standards, they will come with low standards products. Right? Let's say the iron or whatever the iron uh, from, sold in Thailand, maybe higher quality than the same iron sold in Myanmar. They don't need to move certain parts so that they can sell it cheaper here. So we are more, we are more, are more dangerous iron or whatever. So you know that's the, because and we may end up paying the same price at the time. Uh, so that's not very good. So when you know the standard, certain stand, certain ingredients, especially when it comes to food or cosmetics, right? When you have the certain standards, then you know that you're paying for that standard. If not, you have a lousy standard, you pay overpriced. So then that that can be pricing error. That makes us poorer. And the say and then the, the benefit of the standard, if you follow the standard, you can grow rapidly. Because you follow international standards. Yeah, you follow. Then you can grow rapidly. That's why, you know, when it comes to the you know last time company registration in Myanmar, it takes about a month or so. Now it's like within a couple of days you can register a company in Myanmar. Yeah, so that is that's nice following the standards. Right? You can the standard is you can get the company registered within a day or two. That's a standard. Yeah, so that that makes people happy. Yeah, so that's the beauty of having standards. That makes like, businesses happy. Okay, the second last item is, you know, if you have standards, the government can more focus on more strategic objectives rather than trying to, you know, try to address the corruptions and complaints and all this thing. I always give you an example about land registration and changing the titles. You know, you want to change the land title or maybe the farmland title from your name to my name because having no standards or how much to pay so you end up paying so many bribes and so many uh, there are so many cases of corruption, but you still want to have to change change the name. So you ended up paying you know all the whatever land registration office of blah 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 all this thing. So so that without standards you because in order to make the processing happen you ended up having a lot of bribe, uh, paying a lot of bribes and these people may not actually do it. So you ended up complaining to the government. The government had to investigate the corruption. So these are all waste of time. It doesn't lead to economic growth. It just stems out the corruption, right? So the government can 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 concentrate more on the uh, bigger, more strategic objectives. If, for example, the land registration or whatever, they set up the standards. You know, you change the name. You pay this, this one, two, three, four, five. That's all you pay. And the time, if you pay all this one, two, three, four, five money. And the time you will get it done within two weeks, then everybody will be so happy, right? So you know, then the government will also be so happy because the government can do other things rather than getting concentrate on you know catching all the crooks and people who are corrupt. Yeah. So that that's that's the thing. So at the end of the day, having good standards reduces a lot of corruption. Less corruption in a country. It can only be good for the country. Less corruption can Myanmar. Myanmar can stand tall in the international uh, community. Yes. What are examples of lack of standard here? Wow, there are so many examples. I tell you from the commercial commercial world, a good example. You know, even in selling of the gold, you know, when you say when you have a uh, when you have a bracelet or whatever, people say it's 15, 15 pair, but it's not. It's only fourteen and something. So you are being cheated. But they calculate the price based on the 15. But you're only getting the 40 when you try to melt it. Yeah, so, so that's a good example. <laughs> How about in edible wine sector? Yeah, edible wine sector also, you know, we have locally produced edible oil which are more healthier, like peanut oil, sesame oil, sunflower oil, we have the locally produced. But, you know, these are more expensive than imported palm oil, which is not very good for consumption. Yeah, plus, you know, when we have the we even have the flavor of palm oil in disguise. You just put the flavor of the peanut oil into palm oil and sell it as a, you know, peanut oil. It's just a flavor, but actually it's palm oil. So all this type of thing is a, is a consequence of having no standards. You know, some, some people even imported the drainage oil, drainage oil. I mean, people already use the oil from the drain. They collect it, they, they, they remove the dirty things and they sell it back to this country. So, you know, that, that's why we need standards and we need enforcement. Yeah, because it affects the health of the whole population. 
You know, that's why Myanmar life expectancy is uh, quite low compared to, you know, a lot of developed countries. Mm. In the services sector? Yeah, in service sectors, I give you two examples. One is the medical services. Yeah, you know, why a lot of Myanmar people, if they can afford it, they, they go to Thailand for medical services. That's just say a good, that's a good example. That's the thing about standards. Mm. Uh, people, if you're hyper rich, obviously you go to, super rich, if you go to, you go to Singapore. Yeah, if you're normal rich, you go to Thailand. Why? Right, because Myanmar medical services, we do need a lot of standards. For example, I'll give you the timing. You know, in Thailand, if you go and meet the doctor at 10, p 10 a.m., 10 a.m., the doctor will be there. In Myanmar, if you meet, go and meet the appointment, if your appointment of the doctor is 10 a.m., the doctor may be there at 1 p.m. And you wait. Because, you know, right? So what I'm saying, from a patient perspective, do you want a doctor who treat your timing appointment with respect or you want a doctor who want a rubber band time? Rubber band time as and when you like it. Yeah, of course you want the uh, Thailand, Thailand doctor who, has, uh, who is very punctual. Yeah, that's what happened. That's why we ended up being uh, wasting all our money, not wasting, uh, spending all our money, hard earned money, foreign currency in Thailand mm -hmm. for medical services because we are short of standards here. Mm -hmm. Now that's just an example. Or oh, you know, we have fake drugs. Uh, some, a lot of drugs here. They have a lot of fake drugs, a lot of, uh, I don't know, not, 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 not authentic drugs here, you know, getting, getting through the borders. You know, so you, drink, uh, you take medicine here also is not effective. So you ended up wasting our uh, resources overseas. Yeah, that's because of the lack of standards in the medical services arena in our country. And the other one is also a good example I'm going to give construction. Lack of standards, you can say all the Myanmar construction site is very short. They have no cleanliness standards. Every construction site that you know built by the local mm -hmm. uh, contractors, you can go and see the, the site is all dirty and messy and all with rubbish and all this thing. If you go and see the one managed by Japanese or the French in uh, Yangon, every, the site is so clean. Yeah, so that's the, so that's, that's the meaning of standards, right? And also, you know, the Myanmar contractors, they are typically weak in waterproofing. Everything that the rainy season can, there will be some leakage from the roof or the windows or from the doors or whatever, there's a little leakage there. Though that shows that, you know, from the wall, that shows a lack of standard. You know, we live in a country where there's a heavy rain, so we need to make sure that there's no leakages from either of these places. Mm. How about government? Yeah, government also we need to have, because the, 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 the issue is the needing standards in the government to get rid of corruption. No standards, more corruption. Mm -hmm. I give you just an example of the land registration. Right, no standards, more corruption. Yeah, it's, it's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. If you refuse to implement standards, standard time, standard hour, standard fees, yeah, you will lead to uh, you encourage, it's like encouraging corruption. Uh, what are their impacts on general population? Yeah, because, you know, if the government, if the businesses, if the services, if the products do not have standards, the impact of having no standards flows down. You know, the culture of having no standards flows down to the population as well. That's why Myanmar population throw rubbish whenever they like, because they don't have standards. Right, to throw rubbish in the proper place. And you know, the konsa, the beetle nuts, chewing, right, they spit anywhere they want. That shows a lack of standard because, you know, the culture of having no standards flows down to the generic population. And populate the generic population and the internet also, there's so many frauds, right? Because people don't trust each other, people cheat each other, people, you know, advance payment frauds. You buy something, they send money, they run away. Right, because there is no standards in place to conduct businesses, so everything is going haywire. Even you know visa applications in the Korea embassy, Japanese embassy to work in Korea or Japan or these country, there are loads of fake educational certificates, so that the embassies even have the, all the embassies have to call to the university to to check out whether your education, your graduate certificate is fake or genuine. Right, so that I bought. You know, having oh, a culture having no standards flows down to the general population. The general population has become 
weak in terms of ethics. We lack our standards. Yeah, so that that's not that's not very good. Yeah, people, for example, you know, people cheat on the CV, right? Then the, the employees have test them. No, you know, on the on the CV you say you can speak English very well, but when you actually speak, you don't understand a word of it, and you say you're English speaking high level. Yeah, so then you know your your computer skill, your Excel skill high, but you can even open Excel on the computer. So that type of thing blatant, you know, lack of standards on being truthfulness. Yeah, so that is uh, gone down to the that that just increases the business cost for business people. Uh, bosses have to check the employees, uh, give them a test to to see whether they actually know. The embassies have to go and call at the university to see whether your certificate is. Uh, genuine or fake, so all these things are not good impression for the country in general. Oh, uh, so what do we have to do? Yeah, well, the solution is quite simple. We need to have standards in every single place of work or trade. Hospitals must have standards. Government offices must have standards. Yeah, you know, and people also must have standards. You don't, you don't spit beetle juice me. You don't spit beetle juice. You got fine me. You really must get fine, right? You got jail me. You really must go to jail. Not just bribe and run away with that, yeah. So the and plus you need to have active enforcement of that standard. You know, if there is no enforcement, also there is no point having standard. Once you enforce it, the standards become more powerful, right? And the 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 last one is publicity. If you breach the standards, if you go for corruption, you need to have public a level of punishment that can be made public because you commit a crime. There is nothing to nothing to you know. Uh, the government should not be afraid to show your face to uh, your face on the TV that you committed the crime, right? Yeah. So, so that that's the that's the that's the once you have the publicity, other people will be afraid to uh, breach that standard as well, right? And uh, if we do not do that, we'll always be at the uh, backwater of uh, ASEAN. We will be always behind. We are already the poorest country in ASEAN. I feel so bad saying, so bad and so sad saying that again and again. 2017, we became the poorest in ASEAN. Yeah, before 2017, we talk about overtaking Singapore, richest in ASEAN, and after that, we became the poorest in ASEAN. How can it be? Right. So we need to start implementing the standards everywhere, mm -hmm. so that we can be better and get richer. <sighs> Thank you very much for your knowledge. And once again, thank you very much for joining us in this show. You have been watching MITV special program, Perspectives. Thank you, joining us.